Hey there. First thing I had to do was set up my environment by updating my tool chain. That was of course after I played the puzzle for a while. I've been casually working in Flutter and doing tutorials, so I had an older version in place. First I cloned the Git repository and opened it in VS Code. That's when I realized I needed to update some things. Next I ran Flutter Doctor from a terminal to see exactly what was needed. I needed to evaluate the updates first since they required an OS update, which would affect other applications on my system. After some research and testing open source replacement applications for graphics, I proceeded with the update. Once I brought my development environment up to speed, I started playing around with the code. I looked at the file structure and viewed the image and sound files, then edited the colors.dart file. Next, I skimmed all the code in the example files and updated some fonts in the text styles.dart. Then I went back and reviewed all the ideas I had noted when playing the puzzle from before and grouped the ideas by functions. Next, I looked for the files where I could implement these functions. Next, I replaced some images in the Assets folder to create a new puzzle with the existing code in the Dashatar theme. I noticed several of my ideas were in response to the number of successful tiles in place, so I added a color to represent this and added an additional else if statement to the simple puzzle layout delegate.dart to change the background color of a tile that was in the correct position. This was very satisfying as it gave me useful information while playing the game, making it easier to see what moves to make. At this time, I went on to create three desert-style picture puzzles. Next, I updated all the colors to complement the new images. After replacing the Flutter logo with my own and changing the names of the puzzles, I decided to build for additional platforms. To spit out the build for a web app was relatively easy, except I was hosting it in a subdirectory on my website, so it did not work on the first try. And I hadn't looked at the docs. Uh, when I viewed code from the browser of the published puzzle, I saw in the comments in the code to adjust the root directory for serving from a non-root position. Next, I went for the Android release, which required updates to Kotlin and a few other things. Again, I've used the tools in the past, but needed to update to the latest versions of things to get a successful build. Luckily, Android Studio makes this trivial. After testing and viewing the application on the emulator, I went back to the Flutter docs to see what was necessary for release on the Play Store. Step by step, I went through the recommendations for an Android release.